When you arrive at a venue that has a decent amount of weed growth in them, pop-ups can really come into their own, whether that's a hinge rig, a chod rig, the ever popular spinner rig, or my personal favorite, the multi-rig. I've literally used this rig for years and it's caught me hundreds of carp. Good, strong, reliable components that I know won't let me down. So what I'm gonna do now is talk you through how I set up the rig. The first thing I do is create a simple overhand knot in the 20 pound camera braided material I'm using for my hook link. Now this step is actually really crucial because it's going to dictate the height that your pop-up's going to sit. So for me, I like a really low line pop-up, so I try and match the loop size to the size of the hook that I'm going to be using. I then pull off a decent length of the braid and trim it off from the spool. The next step is to create another simple overhand loop. This time it's not as important with regards to the length because what we're going to do later on is we're going to add an anti-tangle sleeve on and the loop is there to attach the rig to a quick chain swivel. I then use a stripper tool just to pull a couple of millimetres back from the loop just to allow some suppleness and movement so the pop-up sits upright. I then get two puller tools, put one in each overhand loop, get the kettle boiling and just steam the rig just so that the material goes bulk right and you'll find with this 20 pound camo material that it will go real, real straight so you don't get any tangles during the cast. Next, I'll take my preferred hook choice, which in this case is a size four curve shank. And I'll thread the overhand loop through the, through the front of the eye of the hook. I'll then add a micro hook bait swivel to the loop and then thread the loop back over both the swivel and the, the point of the hook and pull it down just so you've got the, the, the start of the loop opposite the barb of the hook. And then what you'll find is if you've done your loop the right length for you. So for me, personally, I like a couple of millimetre between the eye of the hook and where the knot stops, where I'm going to mold my putty round to which will dictate the height of my pop-up. I then add a small amount of putty onto the knot of the loop. That's going to dictate how I want my pop-up to sink. And then lastly, I'll just add another small bit of putty just around sort of in the middle of the hook link material, just so that when it sinks on the bottom, that you know full well that it's pinned down to the lake bed. At this point, I'll thread an anti-tangle sleeve, which is just going to cover the overhand loop. Lastly, the all-important hook bait and pop-up. I've used a lot of range over the years, from the high visual range through to the pink and white fluoros. And now we have a new addition to the range, which is the cork dust pop-ups. Super, super buoyant, and you won't find anything out there that'll match free offerings as good as these. So if you're looking for a match the hatch hook bait, these are available in Essential Cell, Cell and Link. They're a perfect bait of choice for a match the hatch situation.